Hi everyone, how are you? Happy Wednesday, Veronica here from Vintage Meat Modern. And I am here with another edition of Jewelry Party Wednesday. Yes, I know there is a lot going on in the world, but I do want to take this time to still get together with all of you style loving sweeties from all over the world and celebrate our great style and some beautiful jewelry too. This is actually a great opportunity with everything that is going on to maybe learn a little something, maybe kick back and relax a little bit. Uh, so I really hope that you will enjoy getting to be here and be part of tonight's show because we do have a lot of really beautiful pieces and I'm not acknowledging or I'm not not acknowledging that there's a lot of things that are going on because I'm very well aware of it. So I see that Rhonda says that she's here and that's like exactly what it is. I promised myself that I was still going to continue to go live while things were going on because this is our opportunity to really get to be together and not just take our mind off of things, but this is a great opportunity to remind everybody that we really are stronger together as a community. And let's not forget that you are beautiful no matter what. You deserve to share your sparkle and deserve to share your personal style, whether you're staying at home or you're going out. Um, it's always just something that's really, really important. And it's something that I never take for granted. It is always my honor to get to spend time with all of you. So as you can see, I've got a huge tray of beautiful pieces uh, that I'm gonna tell you all about tonight. And um, if you were in my private Facebook group, you saw yesterday that I ordered a very nice, so what do you think? Uh, this is actually from Thread Up. This is a, it's not a vintage piece, but it is a secondhand piece. This is a sort of a sweater material, uh, kind of sort of a pea coat style sweater blazer from J. Crew, and I got it at Thread Up, which you know I'm all about shopping sustainably. It's one of my favorite reasons why I love the vintage jewelry, and I love it because it's got a couple things that are going for it. It does have those shorter sleeves. Uh, which is nice because it's perfect for showing off bracelets. And I also got a really beautiful Kate Spade purse also, which is like in new condition, uh, just like the way that we love pieces uh, with the vintage. And so it's great because tonight's collection actually goes amazing with the pieces that I picked up. And so that's part of the reason why I love doing these little segments, not just talking about the jewelry, but talking about what you can actually wear with it because it's super fun. This week's collection was all about what to wear with jeans. It was called Jeans and Jewelry. Uh, you don't necessarily have to wear jeans, but I think many of us love wearing denim, whether it's a denim jacket or love being able to wear a denim skirt or we wear jeans every day. And if not, many of us gravitate towards the color blue. So even if you're not a denim lover, you can easily be able to wear this week's collection with blue. And as you can see, I've had so many great opportunities to be able to mix and match with my own finds. And remember, that's part of the fun of it. Hi, Alicia. How are you? So yes, as we're going along, I do have two small favors to ask of everybody. Remember, small businesses, uh, we're, I don't want to say struggling at this time. We're not struggling yet. Uh, but it is a time where we know that a lot of people are slowing down. So if there's one thing that you can do for us, please share our posts, share our videos. Uh, comments, let us know that you're out there. We want to support you whether or not you're buying from us or not. So please, if you could take the time to share our videos or tag another jewelry lover, we'd be really, really grateful for that. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start off. And now we are going to talk about all of those fabulous pieces uh, that we have that are part of this week's collection because they are really, really fantastic. So I'm going to start off right away by showing you that I have got this gorgeous sweater. Like I said, it's a nice thicker material. And the piece that I'm going to start off showing you right away this evening is um, a great piece because it is part of this collection. I kind of I thought I was more organized here. And of course, now I went ahead and I put the tray down in the very first piece that I wanted to show you. Of course, it's not the piece. So it's going to be the first piece that I was going to show you. Oh, but now it is. See, because it's a smaller one. I can't believe that we still have this one. So the very first piece that I'm going to show you this evening is that we have got this 1930s era uh, jelly belly or jelly opal 
stick pin brooch. And so I guess a couple of you might have remembered earlier during the week, I was showing a picture of a piece that was part of the um, 1930s collection. So this one is a really, really, really nice one. So this is a 1930s era jelly opal stick pin. And it is a gold filled piece. And it has got this very luminescent iridescent glow. The picture that you can see that is up of it is actually a perfect piece because you can see kind of the iridescence that's going along with it. Stick pins are very popular right now. A lot of people doing a lot of different things with stick pins. Uh, one thing is, is they're turning them into conversion pieces and they're turning them into rings. But remember, they're also very practical and very easy to wear. They're not very difficult, especially if you have a thicker fabric on like I have on today. Uh, they're perfect to put on a lapel or they're perfect to actually stick even on like an actual hat. So yes. Hi, Felicia. How are you? Don't forget, everybody tell us where you're from, too. I love being able to shout out where everybody is. Uh, Michelle Martin had just posted uh, that she's in Arizona, and they just had a big rainstorm. And she said, you know, whoever says it doesn't rain in Arizona, I know that it does. But actually watching all the water cascade over was actually very relaxing. Uh, so we've got this beautiful piece. This is this jelly opal stick pin that we have. It has a very nice iridescent glow. It's an opal back stone. And this is a very early piece. This is like in 1930s. So this is a very nice, fun piece. Like I said, lots of people collecting stick pins these days. They're great pieces to go ahead and stick on a hat. Um, great pieces to be able to tuck into a thicker fabric like I have on today. And many people love collecting them and turning them into rings. So this is a really fun one. It's a nice piece. We just got this one. We had one over the summer, very similar style. Um, very, very nice iridescent cast to it. And it is a beautiful one. Yes, hello to South Carolina. Remember what I said to everybody tonight. This is going to be a lot of fun because with everything that is going on in the world, this is a perfect opportunity for us all to come together and just kind of hang out. I mean, not that we don't always love hanging out for Jewelry Party Wednesday, but this is a fun one because we all kind of need a break from everything that's going on. Next up, I have a very lovely pair of jade glass earrings uh, with a faux pearl at the top. Um, this actually has a glass pearl in the center. And these are a lovely little drop. And for those of you who love those little jade style pieces, whoo, I got knocked back off and you are back on. We are happy that you are here. Rhonda, remind me, are you in Birmingham, Alabama, or are you in Atlanta? I can't remember where you are in this part of our country. So we have got a very pretty jade earring that features a faux pearl daisy, a uh, little floral style. Love these for a variety of different reasons. First of all, the jade glass or the molded glass from the 1940s, very, very nice quality. As you can see, it has a little bit of translucence to it. It is not actually a solid color jade it has got a translucent to it it goes really really nicely and we'll talk about this one a little bit later uh the faux pearl cocktail ring that we have you see that same sort of kind of pearl sort of floral design you can see that it's mimicked in the same sort of floral pearl design that we see in the ring which means that if you have other classic pearl jewelry, really easy to be able to wear this with other classic pearl pieces. Plus, we've got that very pretty light green jade color on. Now, look, I even have orange on and it goes very nicely with that. So these are a beautiful pair of earrings. I'm going to go ahead and share the details with you on that one so that you can get a closer look at them. This is the 1940s jade glass and faux pearl earrings. These are under $50. As you can see, they have a floral design, little bit of some gold accents to them. Uh, the gold, the jade piece is a little bit of a molded style to it, and they are a screw back. For, so for those of you who like being able to adjust the tension on your earrings, you're not really maybe real big on getting to be able to wear clips. The screw backs are always a nice opportunity to be able to adjust the tension throughout the day to make them a little tighter or a little looser, no matter how you feel. 
This is a great pair of earrings because you can wear them both dressed up or you could wear them both dressed down. So it's a nice availability. And then the other part about it, obviously, that's so great is, like I said, really easy to mix it with other pearl pieces of jewelry. But you could always mix this with classic strands of pearls, too, or a pearl bracelet or a real pearl ring. So a very nice piece that we have. These are under 50 of some from Birmingham. So one of my favorite one of my favorite pottery places is over out in Birmingham. So love those green pieces. Uh, very excited to be able to share those with you this evening. Up next, we have that great 1960s gold daisy necklace. So this is another fun one. This is a great piece to be able to wear. I'm going to go ahead. Don't worry. I have got zoom. So this is also, like I said, a really easy piece to be able to accessorize, being able to wear it in different ways. But we have got this great uh, vintage daisy necklace from the 1960s which is actually stuck on this charm bracelet, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring that back. So this is the white and the gold filigree. And as you can see, this is gonna look so nice against the orange. So for those of you who kind of like this Mandarin color, and then also that really easy to be able to add that white with that gold. So you can see that this hangs at a really nice length. Um, what's kind of fun about it is, is the white chain actually hangs at a sort of a different graduated length versus the why that comes with the gold and it's a really easy piece to be able to wear with your favorite jacket or blazer because I have it on today I went ahead and like I said this is sort of a pea coat one that overlaps but if you want to be able to wear something open uh, also you can see I have on a scoop neck shell from J Crew, but you could also easily be able to wear this with a v-neck or if you have a boat neck that's sort of a black style you could easily be able to pull it off with wearing it with black too this is another fun one that I would really think about putting this with is that if you like wearing shades of blue, like let's go ahead and show you. If you like wearing shades of blue, you can see how easily this pops with a blue color, kind of like the way that we're talking about with jeans. But you could also very easily be able to wear this with yellow. This would really be fun with like a yellow t-shirt and a black pair of pants, uh, and then maybe some white sandals or some white strappy shoes. So this is that 1960s mod style large pendant. I know that the lovely Leanne went ahead and put the link to that. Oh, and Michelle says here, just an FYI, it's pouring rain down here. Thunder, rain, winds again. Well, you know what I would say to that. You know, I would say that everybody up there is making a lot of noise or the angels are bowling this evening or and everything like that. We're all we're all gonna be okay though. I promise it. We are. So we've got this very beautiful daisy pendant. This is the 1960s one. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you so that you can take a closer look at this one. And don't hesitate. If you have questions about any specific pieces, tonight is your night to ask those questions. And I don't mind doing close-ups of anything that we have either. So this is that vintage 1960s gold pendant with the daisies. Uh, as you can see, this one is 95. Uh, it is from the 1960s era. It's hanging at an 18-inch fantastic you know uh, girls i'm all about an 18 to a 20 inch long necklace uh and it's one to very easily be able to fill your neckline super fun spring summer look it does feel very flower power or very flower child but i love being able to wear this one to be able to dress up and dress down as you can see i opened my jacket and was able to change the look Remember, we're all about giving you the options of how to change your clothing with accessories. So this is another one that's really easy. You'll enjoy being able to wear it in your clothing and with your closet over and over again. So we have got this lovely, fantastic piece. Moving on, we have the piece that I call the earth. Uh, we've got a vintage Art Deco era Azurite bead necklace, which is both blue and green. And it goes so awesome with so many of the other pieces that we have. So we have been talking a lot about things that you can wear with the blues and the greens. And this one is another one that, wow. It just feels so good against the skin. So this is this blue and green one. And what I want to point out is that there are faceted blue and green stones in between the azurites. And this is a screw together clasp. Uh, like I said, it's a 1940s piece. It is it's substantial weight and substantial um, feeling to it. And 
It is a little bit longer too, which is also really nice. And there's about 10 different brooches and about 10 different pairs of earrings that go with it. So for those of you who love being able to wear something that's on your lapel with your necklace, this is a great one. So this has got the emerald green and the sapphire blue that is tucked in with the blue and the green beads. As I mentioned before, if I was to have to describe this one to me, when you look at the beads very closely, they look like the earth. You see both the variations of the blue and the green with the water. And it just goes really nicely with a lot of other pieces that we have. So you can bring out the blue shades, uh, for example, with the blue cocktail ring that we have. Uh, but you can bring out the blue also with a lovely sort of uh, butterfly brooch, bringing out the blues in that one. Uh, you can bring out the blues and the greens with the blues and the greens with the Made in Austria brooch that we have that features the rhinestone styling. It brings out both the blues and the greens that you see even between the stones. Uh, you can totally rock it with the blue and the white uh, with the Karl Lagerfeld bangle. And you can just wear it with sort of your classic blues and greens too. Going ahead and just adding up the classic blue pinwheel style brooch with the rhinestones. Uh, you can wear it with the jade. You can bring out the blues and the greens that you see in the jade ring that we have. So there's just a lot that you can be able to do with this one. And as you can see, again, this one hangs a little bit longer uh, and the stones are all in very good condition. And so are the blue and the green faceted crystals that are all tucked in between each one. So very, very easy to wear, very easy to enjoy over and over again. And if it is your first time joining us, please, uh, I agree, to see, like, so fun. Cute. I like the videos because you get a better look at the jewelry. Well, that's exactly what we're here for. And I really want to give you really real tips on how to wear them too. I mean, I know that your styles and your coloring might be different than I am, but I think when you see the jewelry and then you go ahead and you look at what you either have in your closet or when you're shopping online, or maybe when you're thinking about what you have that's coming up, I think it's a really great opportunity for you to be able to get an idea of the size and the scale. I am a very normal average woman. I mean, I'm five foot three. Um, I'm a little bit chestier. Uh, I wear flats now, but I do like to wear a kitten heel. Uh, so I mean, I'm a real woman and I get dressed and I wear these real pieces just like the rest of you. So that's the other thing is I love being able to showcase how easy it is. And that's the reason why I like also that you get to see how Claudia looks when she wears them when you head to the website, because we all have little bits of different styles to us. We all dress a little bit differently, but yet all of these pieces still look good on different generations. Um, and then in addition to looking good on different generations, different hair colors, different skin tones, it's always about collecting and putting together a collection in which everyone can really truly enjoy it. So Moving on, I'm going to show these early Art Deco earrings uh, that feature the paste rhinestones in the center. Uh, this is a celluloid that has been molded and cut out. Uh, and these also are a screw back and they feature some little paste rhinestones set sort of in a marquee sort of style that is dangling inside. So, you know, how we talk about those door knockers, this is kind of maybe a predecessor style to those 1960s door knocker earrings uh, that were so popular. So these have got the cutouts that are in the center. And obviously I'm such a huge fan of being able to wear jet. Now remember, those jet door knocker earrings that we had that actually retired from the website, they flew off and went to another home with a lovely and beautiful woman named Jamie uh, who lives in Florida. So things do sell out when we're both in person and when we're traveling and when we're putting our trunks together. So these are a very lovely black celluloid. Uh, they are $55. They're about an inch and three quarters by an inch long, and they're also a screw back. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at them because really what makes these really special is the detailing that is in the center. So if you look closely, there is a paste set of rhinestones that are in the center. There's a faceted jet at the top, then there's the carved celluloid, and then like I was saying, sort of door knocker style, there is a layer in the middle that features a paste rhinestone uh, with a mill grain detail. Very Art Deco styling. And also, for those of you who are such a big fan of the jet pieces that we have, and believe me, Jet has been filing, just flying out of here all season long. 
long. We do have two jet necklaces. And from remember those, and there's a couple people here I see who are on tonight also that have jet necklaces, including the tassels. So we have got great opportunities to be able to wear these earrings with jet pieces. So you can see I'm taking a step back. I'm showing you how easy it is to be able to wear this with an open tank, the classic jet, and then being able to pull up the jet earrings. And then the jet necklaces that we have, you know, if you're a person that doesn't like wearing things long, don't forget these both have spring rings on them. So you can easily be able to make them shorter too. And I wore this with an off the shoulder blouse from J. Crew, And you know, you can really, really layer up and see how easy it is to be able to bring the jet. And I think it was Rhonda Baker who said that she actually has a bunch of jet torsades and just like lots and lots of jet necklaces. They really are a jewelry box staple and they really look fantastic when you put them on. So I'm a huge fan of the Vintage Art Deco celluloid earrings. Uh, they do have very pretty detailings in the center. Like I said, they have got some very pretty paste set stones. And then of course the celluloid Real pretty, real easy to be able to wear. Another one of my favorites that we have this week, and I just love all the jet pieces. Speaking of pieces that have just been so, is there a way to say that vintage jewelry has been hot? <laughs> I don't know. Our jewelry is um, doesn't go with the trends per se, because we like to say that things are timeless not trendy here. Uh, but I do see that we do go through different phases where people want different eras. And I would not, it wouldn't be right of me not to admit that art deco jewelry and minimalist style pieces have not been just hot, hot here at Vintage Meat Modern because we have really been selling out of those art deco pieces a lot. And I can't say I blame you because many of us are watching um, series from Downton Abbey and similar period pieces. And so we're kind of falling in love with the jewelry that we see that is in that over and over again. So tonight we have up for your consideration this very lovely sterling silver and art deco uh, necklace and it does feature a very light pale green colored stone. So this one is set in genuine sterling silver. Uh, it does have some very nice detailing to it and it is a daintier piece. I'm going to try not to get the clasp stuck in my hair. Uh, and it does dangle a little bit lower and as you can see it is a very pale light green if you remember of the area from the depression glass and the light Vaseline glass color, that is very similar to the coloring of this. It doesn't have quite of a mint color. It has more of a yellow green color to it. I would say more like your springy green, your light green grass when it begins to be able to come up. Um, but this one is definitely one of those really beautiful antique style pieces. So this one features the antique style piece. It has a soft cushion cut going around with it with the setting uh, and then the bail at the top has just a little bit of art deco lines that are going with it this is the art deco uh, green crystal necklace let me go ahead and let you see the details on this one this is an authentic uh, piece from the 1920s, 1930s era. It is at an 18 inch long. Uh, the pendant itself is a three quarters inch by a half that's including the bail. And the metal color is actually a sterling silver. We have the same piece in a gold fill that I apologize. We need to correct the listing here. So this one is actually a sterling silver piece. It is hallmarked sterling actually on the chain and it does feature a very light green colored stone. Now, as you can see, I have very dark colored hair, but this is also a very nice piece if you are blonde or fair skinned as well. So this is a very pretty piece that we have. I dare say I wear what I like, hot or not. I don't disagree. I am the same way. I wear what I like as well too. Um, and some days I wear some pretty goofy things. I won't deny that. Uh, but I do like being able to wear whatever I like. And that is exactly what you should do. Your personal style is all about what you like to wear. So 
Up next, I have got this Vintage Art Deco pendant, and this one is the pink version of the green. Now, this one is a gold filled one, and we have been talking a lot about jewelry terms here. So for those of you who are just joining us and are liking to learn a little bit about jewelry, you might learn something a little unique about this one. Like, this one still has the original tag on it from the 1930s era that marks it as gold filled. So we refer to this type of piece as a new old stock or sometimes dead stock, meaning this piece was found in its original condition and has never been worn. So that's kind of a little bit of fun pieces to it. This one features a very light pale pink sort of rosy colored stone and it is set in a gold fill. Now this one has a little push down paper clip style uh, chain. You just push this one in the clasp. And yes, the lovely Caitlin is here this evening. So is the lovely Rhonda, uh, the lovely Leanne. Leanne is going along and putting all our listings in. And this one you just push on the clasp uh, in order to push it on and out. But this one, it does have the original tag on it. How cool is that that something from the 1930s would still have its original tag uh, and it's brand new for you nearly almost 100 years later? It's just crazy to think that. Crazy to think that. We do have lots and lots of fun pieces. All right, let's see what we have coming up next because we've got some fun ones. All right, okay. Dare I say, and I'm not going to make any bad jokes during this time of what's going on, but I do want to remind everybody that uh, these little double serpents, which is from Art Mode. So again, another history lesson this evening. Art Mode jewelry, very popular in the 1950s and 60s from the Arthur Pepper Company. Um, Art Mode is actually the abbreviation for it. It's A-R-T mode m-o-d-e but it's the arthur pepper company uh so for those of you who are just beginning to learn and research jewelry uh many of their pieces were featured in sort of a victorian revival style this is a double serpent brooch uh that features two sort of cobra or serpent heads sort of wound together and of course there's a few really fun things that are about the jewelry that's from this era so the first of which is that we did discover king tut's tomb in the 1950s so there was a large Surgeons of Egyptian revival jewelry during that time period. Uh, then many famous movies that came out with more exotic styles, uh, Cleopatra with Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, and also things became more exotic in the sense that we had more access to air travel worldwide for people all over. So people started exploring more places, seeing more cultures. So people received these more exotic designs when they would bring them back to the American designers of jewelry who would then wanting to be putting those types of influences in their pieces and collections. This one is a very lovely piece. It is a gold plated piece that features some white enamel and then the snakes have little cherry red sort of like tongues. Uh, as you can see, it's not too long and it's not too short. A very easy one to be able to pin to your lapel. And Snakes are actually very famous for a lot of different things. So they're known as protector pieces if you like wearing jewelry for symbolic reasons. Uh, they're also known as pieces for rebirth because they shed their skins. So for those of you who like being able to wear, yes, Oh, Tut's tomb was in the 1920s and the revival of the 20s. And then his tomb is amazing. Yes. So, yes. And the 19s and the 30s and one of my most. Yes. And you know what? I've never been to King Tut's tomb, but I do know that many people have a lot of fun talking about all of the different excursions and how that it influenced the media then and especially fashion. So I do love that we've got this amazing serpent brooch. It is a great piece. It's not too big. It's not too small. Um, and it's one that you can obviously easily layer up with other pieces as well. Uh, it's also a really great price. Um, this really fun piece is from the 19... 50s era, it's $65. And if we want to take a closer looking at the details here, you can see how nice the enamel work is it. So it's just got some hints of the white and then the red right around where its little tongues are. This piece does not have any rhinestones. It just has some little ruby red eyes, but it is a super fun one. And so this is the vintage art mode. This one is also signed on the back. It has the ART, the art mode symbol, right underneath the little pin back. So another really super great one. 
you love the new old stuff and with the tags still on it. Yeah, I love when the we can find things with the tags on it too. It's super fun to be able to do that. Um, we had a three piece listener set that had all the tags on it and it sold right away earlier this week. So I definitely know that a lot of people like being able to take advantage of being able to find those new old stock pieces. Okay, we're moving on to something sparkly now. We haven't had very many sparkles since the beginning of the show. And so it's interesting because we've been talking about all those art deco pieces from the 1920s, 1930s. For a long time, I like couldn't even keep 1950s jewelry in stock. So here we go. We have a beautiful art deco cha-cha necklace featuring Aurora Borealis rhinestones. And I don't have to tell you twice, you can see the sparkle when I go ahead and I put this beautiful piece on. It also lays so beautifully. So you know I'm always telling you about how that I prefer being able to wear a 16 or an 18 inch. This is a perfect 16 inch. And all of these little rhinestones lay so perfectly. Let's just take a moment to appreciate all that sparkle. <laughs> So this one features prong set rhinestones and then faceted Aurora Borealis crystal beads. For those of you who love Aurora Borealis, this is just an absolutely fantastic piece. So it's got a beautiful movement to it and then it sits very nicely. It's a J hook closure. Um, yes, and this piece just shines. I know you really do have to take a moment to sort of appreciate it. It has very much that Ava Gardner and those old Hollywood glam styles that we love from the 1950s and the 1960s era. So this beautiful piece is set in a heavy 18 karat gold plating. And like I said, it just shimmers and sparkles and we've got just the beautiful beautiful beads that go along with it and i'm going to go ahead and skip ahead because for those of you who like being able to put a pair of matching earrings let's go ahead and take a closer look at this one and then i'm going to pull out the pair of earrings that i would put with it in order to be able to really make this set complete so this is the vintage aurora borealis cha-cha bead necklace uh it's 95 dollars. it's 16 inches long it's got a j-hook closure and we have the perfect pair of petite aurora borealis earrings to be able to match it so we've got a fantastic pair of little vintage aurora borealis um these feature a little sort of fan style design and they match with the aurora borealis is there a way to make it longer that's a good question. I personally would just, I mean, you've seen me do it before. I am like trying to look behind me. Oh my goodness, I do have one. Okay, so this is a sterling silver. So this is a silver um, necklace extender and I don't usually use this one in order to extend this style of necklace, but I just wanted to let you know, yes, Leanne is flagging me down and saying, is there a way to extend this? So here is how I would go ahead and I would extend this necklace. I would uh, I would take the part that has the lobster clasp on it and I would clip it to where the bead is. So you see where the bead is over there. And then I would use the J hook or the, the open hook to connect to the J hook. And I would go ahead and I would slip that through the J hook through the center. And I would line it up so that it lays longer. And then, yes, that is how I would extend it. Ta-da! So, yes, you could easily be able to extend this one to, like, an 18, 20. Um, I probably wouldn't go very much past, like, a 22-inch. But this fits as a 16-inch. And I'm not sure what length I have on the extender. But as you can see, you can easily be able to extend it. And if you're like me and you wear your hair down most of the time, you're not even going to be able to see that hook in the back. And then I've got the petite vintage Aurora Borealis earrings that are on that actually match it so perfectly. And when I go ahead and take the necklace off, I'll tell you what length it is. But as you can see, yes, you can easily be able to extend this one and be able to enjoy it. And yes, let's just take a moment to appreciate all of that beautiful spark. So yes, so it does make it does lay nicely. Um, I think it's really easy. And yes, thank you, Katie, for saying that you like my orange jacket. So yes, so that is how I would extend it. And I don't really think that it's a really hard 
in order to be able to do it. And yes, I wore it, matching it up with the Petite Aurora Borealis. And as you can see, I'm just connecting the J hook and then leaving the little center hook and then the silver. And I can tell you in terms of how I made it longer, uh, I know I have a, the only thing you have to be too careful with is just making sure that when you open up the clasp, you can easily be able to open it. And I have right here behind me in my drawer, uh, the size extender that I added it with was actually five inches. So I added an additional five inches to it. So it was hanging at like a 21 inch. So. There you go. Cha-cha-cha. Love those little cha-cha necklaces. And I just love the way that that one sparkles. So that one's definitely a good pick. And it seems like everything tonight is going with orange and blue. That seems to be our theme this evening. All right, next up, we're going to talk about that very pretty vintage monarch butterfly brooch. So we can't not pay attention to the pieces that Mr. Michael likes. So Mr. Michael, of course, is a student and a lover of science. And we have got a very lovely, large blue morpho butterfly. For those of you who maybe had kids who were really uh, into Diego and Dora, uh, remember way back then, my kids used to watch an episode that had the blue morpho butterfly in it over and over again. So um, I believe in all things sparkly. That's what Leanne says. I don't, I just, I, I agree. I believe in all things that are sparkly too. So we have got a very lovely, large blue uh, and black monarch. And um, we have got, we, yeah, we are all terrible. You are not terrible. You are, you are making my day here. So we've got this very lovely blue rhinestone or blue, I'm getting tongue tied out. So we have this lovely blue large brooch that features the monarch or the blue morpho butterfly in these shades of blue with the black enamel. And for those of you who were looking for things to go with the blue, remember this piece goes really nicely, not just with the bright orange, but it goes really great with blue and with black too. So we've got a very nice one. This is a very large enamel one. And what makes this so special with the enamel work is that the enamel work is in pristine condition. So for those of you who are looking for something to put like at the center of blouses, if you like wearing things off to the side in your jean jackets, this is another really fun one. It's also one that goes really nicely with a lot of different colors. So don't hesitate to be able to put all of them together. Great, great, great find. So we have got that piece. Always I look out for pieces where the enamel work is still in a fantastic condition. And that's exactly what is so special about that particular piece. Plus, butterflies are really popular here. We have a lot of people that collect butterfly jewelry. It reminds them of their mothers, reminds them of spring, just lots and lots of fun reasons. Okay, next up we have got the vintage blue rhinestone ear crawler earrings. Uh, and I'm looking to see, here they are. Uh, I was worried that we put them back in the drawer while we were putting things together. Uh, yes, we have got this very pretty, so these are a sapphire blue and they're like a little bit of a three dimensional size to them. Uh, you can see they kind of have sort of a curving going around them. They're an ear crawler and they are set in a rhodium plate um, and they are a dark sapphire blue uh, with the Diamante. So they've got that classic Art Deco styling. So for those of you who like being able to wear a really nice statement earring, this is a great pair. Very easy to be able to wear and to show off when you wear your hair up. Um, they do go up the ear. And the other reason why I do like this particular pair is they go really nice with classic rhinestone pieces. So even though they have the addition of the blue, you can wear them with your traditional Diamante Art Deco pieces. For example, I just happen to have this piece out on the tray. For those of you who like being able to wear this one's with the pearl and the rhinestones, this is not part of this week's collection, but you can see how easy you can pick up on the rhinestones with other pieces, either from the VMM collection or maybe pieces that you have in your own jewelry box. So very, very, very pretty, very nice. All righty, what else do we have up next? Those are the blue and rhinestone ear crawlers. Now we have a couple rings that we're going to talk about. We have got a vintage blue and purple marquee style ring. Uh, this lovely little piece is a vintage blue and purple Aurora Borealis rhinestone ring. It is $45. Uh, tons and tons of sparkle, picks up on that blue-green cast. Let me go ahead and see if we can the camera here. There we go. 
a little better. Sorry about that if you're seeing my fingers. This is the blue and purple Aurora Borealis uh, ring. This one is $45. It's a very pretty marquee styling. Uh, as you can see, it goes very nice with a variety of colors. You can easily be able to put this with other shades of blue, other shades of Aurora Borealis. Um, nice size. This is another one that is also adjustable. So very easy to be able to actually size this one up or size this one down. So this is a great piece that we have. If you want to take a closer look at this one, I'll go ahead and I'll share my screen for you and let you take the look at the details here. Uh, this one is currently sized to a size six. And as you can see, this one flashes both blue and purple. So for those of you who like more of those blue and plummy tones, this is a great option. Uh, just have that hint of the Aurora Borealis and it goes even very nicely with the earrings that I just had on. So lots of ways to be able to wear that one. Yes, that's a beautiful ring. Uh, next up, we have another ring, uh, another fun one, because I really like this one because it goes with a lot of different pieces that we have. So this one is the Vintage Blue Rhinestone and Diamante Crystal Ring. And this one is really fantastic. I had it on earlier with some other pieces. Uh, this one is a great one because this one features both the sapphire blue crystal in the center and then it's got the diamante stones that are going around it. Uh, it sort of has a star sort of Sputnik style design. It's a super fun one, really easy one to be able to wear with a lot of different pieces. You can see it's very easy to pick up on different shades of blue. Let me bring that blue handbag back over here again to show you. So it does have a real true blue styling to it. Would just look great with classic jeans. You could wear this with a pair of diamond studs. Uh, or you can wear this with a lot of other jewelry and other pieces that we have featured in this week's collection. Goes very nicely with that large Karl Lagerfeld bangle that we have. Uh, it goes very nicely with those little azurite beads that I showed you. Just lots and lots of different ways to be able. Goes really nicely with that little vintage coral brooch that we have just lots of things i know wasn't that handbag of steel i know for those of you who are in the style society you caught my video you might have saw so i send in a lot of things when they don't fit me or i get tired of them to thread up so i had a credit to thread up um so i went ahead and i got it and this handbag was actually a final sale but it's a vintage kate or not a vintage it's just a classic kate spade it's an authentic one it's a newer one because it's got the kate spade design on it but it is in pristine condition it doesn't even have a scratch on it. So I really think of when I'm collecting things here at Vintage Meat Modern that that's like what I want things to be able to be for you too. Plus I want you to be able to put them with things that you can actually wear. So we got the blue rhinestone ring. Now we're going to talk about a great piece to actually wear if you have a blue handbag like that. Or if you just like being able to wear classic blue colors. We have the vintage blue rhinestone ear crawler statement rings or statement earrings. And there's actually an awesome brooch that goes with these. So I'll talk a little bit about the brooch. Uh, which I'm showing you right here. This is the blue with the Aurora Borealis. It's got the Aurora Borealis in the center. And then the matching earrings are an ear crawler style that have kind of a fan style design too. Now I'm looking at the backs of these and the way that they're made. And originally I thought they were West Germany, but I really think they're a vintage Judy Lee. So they go all the way up the ear. And they also have a really nice brooch that goes ahead and matches them as well. So we've got this very beautiful blue color. There are two pieces that are available that are part of this set. This is the 1950s ear crawler. And then this is the vintage brooch that matches it. So we have both pieces. As you can see, it looks really, really great with the orange. But you can also be able to wear this against just creams and lighter colors as well. Um, I do think the set is Judy Lee. And the reason why is because the way that the earrings are and the clip back. So Judy Lee frequently used this square backed style Ryan's um, clip for the clip earrings uh, versus other designers that are from the same era. So like, for example, if we use these, if we look at the difference, like this clip earring, if I open it up, mm -hmm. has got this sort of like fan style notch design. And this one has got a square styled design that is on the back of it. And Judy Lee typically used the square style back on their pieces. So that's the reason why it leads me to believe that I think that this is actually a Judy Lee piece here. Um, 
Okay, I answered Leanne's question. I got it right away. She said, do you think it could be Judy Lee? I do think that it could be. I'm looking very close, but then keep in mind, a lot of the pinbacks actually weren't signed. Uh, so this definitely could fall into the family of a Judy Lee piece. To me, I think the clip earrings are more indicative than the brooch. Okay, so we talked about the blue rhinestone ear crawlers, which are super fun. And now we're gonna talk about that blue thermoside side because Thermoset has been very popular here, uh, which I think is awesome because Lucite collectors are everywhere. And we have seen a resurgent ever since we had those moon glow pieces. Uh, we have seen a resurgence in the moon glow pieces. And so that is what I have here to show you next. I'll go ahead and I will share my screen because we also have got a pair of earrings to match this bracelet. So this is the vintage blue thermoset with white enamel flowers. Uh, it features a very lovely rhinestone setting with it. And it also features um, some little enamel work. And then it's got some accents of the rhinestones. And then this one has got a solid silver plating on the back of it. Uh, as you can see, again, like I told you, part of the reason why I like this jacket or sweater blazer that I got so much is it's got the shorter sleeves. So it's very easy to be able to wear bracelets with this one. Uh, this one also has a pair of matching earrings. Uh, it's just a really, really nice sort of different kind of shade of blue. Um, it has a little bit of a violet undertone to it, but what makes this one so fantastic is it's just in a really, really great quality. We normally find these pieces because this piece is actually a lucite with a very light cast, seeing a lot of the metal wear to this, and this has no metal wear to it at all. Uh, so we've got a pair of blue earrings that match it. Uh, there is kind of a left and a right style that go ahead with this one. I've got them on the correct ears. These are not signed to, but these are probably most likely a Coro or a Lisner. Uh, and you can see they do have that really nice bright blue coloring to them. They kind of look like a little blue bell. And like I said, goes really, really nicely. Very easy to be able to wear. But if you don't wear clip earrings, you could always wear with sort of diamond stud too. This does have a nice accent of white enamel on it. So if you like wearing uh, white milk glass jewelry, you could put this with white milk glass as well. A very, very nice piece. Very much nice. Love these. Okay, alrighty, how oh, time for my favorite piece of the night. So, so many people ask me about my signature piece. If you have ever seen me lecture or do any styling guides, or if you've ever come out and visit me in person, you know that the piece that I really usually wear the most is actually my Chanel bezel set crystal necklace. And so we have got, an authentic Chanel bezel set crystal necklace. And uh, this crystal came out of France in the 1980s. It is a genuine crystal that has been faceted. It is not glass. And it features some faux rhinestones. And this is from the era of the very early 80s where Chanel made these bezel set or chiclet necklaces. Now, many of you may actually probably have uh, the pieces that are in from Swarovski that were part of this era as well. Uh, but Chanel was the one that really brought the resurgence back in the 1980s. Uh, this piece has its original hang tag on it, which you're actually kind of seeing it go around over here because it's actually on this side. It has a little tiny medallion disc that uh, makes it its authentic piece. For those of you who don't know, I used to work at Neiman Marcus for many years in the personal shopping and in the jewelry department. And when I did that, I learned all about how to authenticate luxury goods such as Chanel. So this piece is really, really super long. It is actually meant to be layered up with other layers of pearls and it can be worn with crystal or with gold. For example, we have got a fantastic pair of Christian Dior earrings that actually fit with a knot and you can just do a bazillion different things like this. It is definitely meant to become some woman's signature style piece, very easy to wear and literally goes with everything. Um, you know, Karl Lagerfeld said you can be chic and stylish in a pair of jeans or a couture ball gown. This is definitely that piece. So we have this one, another great fact and interesting detail about being able to learn about this piece. 
all the pieces that I had that were in the collection that were from the original box all came from someone who used to be a buyer at the Chanel store on Fifth Avenue in New York. So these were actually pieces from her personal collection. I don't always get to know the history and the backstory of the pieces, but when I can, I always pass them on to you. So this piece is super, super long. As you can see, it wraps around again and again and again. And we do have the original box for it and it has been authenticated. Uh, like I said, this little medallion is a very important part of the authentication process for it. Uh, and I do have a very similar piece featuring the bezel set and rock crystals in my personal collection. And I wear that one pretty regularly. And people always ask me about it. So that is your closest opportunity to be able to own something that is just like the one that I have in my personal collection. Going along with that, just letting you know and telling you about that, the reason why I have the own piece in my own personal collection is I actually inherited it from an aunt who used to collect Chanel jewelry. So for those of you who are into the collecting aspect of things, uh, I'm very much take that personally because I have one too. And I actually have two of them uh, and I'm saving one of them for my one daughter and one for my other. Um, I don't know what Mr. Michael will get for his future bride or what he will get, but don't worry, I'll make it something fantastic for him. So great story. When I used to work at Neiman Marcus, I actually used to work on a woman who was pregnant the entire time I worked. I waited on her and she had already had two sons. So she had five boys and then her sixth was a girl. And I remember how fantastic and ecstatic she was because she finally said she had somebody to give her jewelry to. So I am up next talking about, since we're talking about classics and things that I have in my own jewelry bags, we have a fantastic pair of vintage Christian Dior earrings from the 1980s. And you know, if you're just looking for some good jewelry box staples, you can never go wrong with a pair of earrings that are like this. So these are sort of a little gold style chain design. They're kind of a little half hoop style. These are an authentic pair of Christian Dior earrings from the 1980s. You can see you don't need anything else to go with them. Just really, really great classic pair of earrings. Go really nice with the Chanel pieces, but you can literally wear them with anything. Uh, and I just love them. They're just awesome. They're very comfortable, well-balanced, heavily gold-plated, look fantastic, and you can easily be able to wear these with your fine jewelry as well, too. So I'd never get tired of being able to put these on. I would think that they'd be a great addition to anybody's jewelry box. And if you're looking to invest in a piece uh, that is also one that's going to retain its value, these are the earrings for you. They're really great. So we've got those 1980s. Uh, now we're gonna talk a little bit about that little petite coral medallion brooch. So one thing that we talked about, if you read a little bit of our blog post this week was how to style these pieces. And we also have been talking a lot about the classic pieces from the 40s and 50 eras. And even though this is a little petite one, this very little petite brooch is actually signed Coro. And it's a great piece to be able to wear on either a smaller lapel or be able to layer up with other pieces on your jean jacket. So for example, this little blue crawler style brooch, or we're gonna talk a little bit about the larger medallion style brooch. So for those of you who like being able to layer pieces, this little petite coral one is in great condition, and it also features the addition of some pearls on it as well. So for those of you who are looking to be able to put pearl pieces uh, with the blue rhinestones, we've got you covered. I hope everybody is enjoying this week's collection because I had a lot of fun putting it together. It's always one of the best things to do. Oh, and now I'm gonna have to run over here and I'm gonna have to grab the mannequin. Uh, so up next, we have a piece that really surprised me. Uh, always something fun when we find pieces that are, you know, when we pick them up at first glance and we go, huh, you would have never guessed that to be true. We have got an awesome piece from Vintage Crown Trafari, and I'm gonna go over here. I have this one actually on the neck form because I was taking pictures. Um, this is the Vintage Crown Trafari piece, and this one features a very, very pretty art glass style stone with two rows of chains. So it has a graduated style to it. Uh, another reason why I love this one, very comfortable, very nice to be able to wear and be adjustable. I'm leaving those awesome 
awesome Christian Dior earrings on because by the end, someone's going to go, oh my gosh, you're right. They do go with everything. So this is this vintage Crown Jafari piece. And, you know, we do see a lot of graduated pieces from this era, but I don't see as many of them from Crown Jafari that are like this. So we've got this very nice triple strand necklace that features this art glass in the center. Uh, this one's another one that's just a really easy one to be able to wear and be able to put with other things. Looks so great with these Christian Dior earrings. And it just has the nicest little pops of color in the art glass stones. So this one is got the vintage Crown Trifari logo on it. It also has got the little T with the crown over it. It's a 1950s era piece. This is very, very high quality, very beautiful art glass stone. Reminds me of a Venetian glass actually. Uh, so this was a great one. Again, it gives you that nice layered look without actually wearing layered necklaces. Uh, very well, nice, great design and just really interesting to be able to see this piece that's actually from Trafari because you know usually we see pieces that are like this and they're marked either West German or Japan uh, but not so this one is actually Trafari really really beautiful piece all right moving on after the Trafari piece let's see what we have on next we have got a awesome pair of vintage rhinestone earrings that feature a filigree cap on them. So I've got a very lovely pair of vintage, a sort of old Hollywood style. Uh, this is the vintage Diamante rhinestone earring with the dangling ball. Uh, definitely has that glam girl styling to it. And it's got that very elegant filigree clap too. We had a different pair, but I know there was somebody here who snatched those very pretty earrings up. But this is kind of the sister pair that goes along with it. it. does have a teeny tiny little rhinestone at the top. And for those of you who just like being able to wear a classic statement earring, uh, these are great. And as you can see, you could so easily be able to wear them. I have them on with this sweater blazer today, and I have it on with a pair of like black pedal, pedal pusher capris. Uh, but you could easily be able to wear these with jeans and just be able to enjoy them. Kind of fun little movement to them, just a really nice, great pair of classic earrings. And so these are the little ones that have got the little filigree caps and the little balls with them. Very, very nice, fun pair of earrings to be able to enjoy over and over again. All right, we have got a couple different bracelets that you could even be able to wear with these pieces. This is the vintage Diane von Furstenberg. I'm kind of sneaking off over here. So much jewelry, so much jewelry. Everything is all spread out here. Um, I did have a very pretty little Diane von Furstenberg silk cord, but it seems to have walked off. Oh, here it is. So we've got a, a silk cord from vintage Diane, Diane von Furstenberg. Many of you know that she is very famous for her contribution to the fashion world with her wrap dress. But in the 1970s, she did a very short line. She did resurrect her jewelry line in the early 2000s, but it was made with fine jewelry. Um, but she did do a line of jewelry to complement her wrap dresses in the 1970s. And so this is a really fun bracelet. It features a silk cord um, with some knotted cords, and then it's got some pastel colors with the lucite too. Now this piece isn't signed, but we had the original tags that go with it. That's how we were able to identify it with it. Um, it does have some really nice pastel colored styling, which is great because it makes it easy to be able to wear with a variety of different styles of jewelry. So like even those very large flower power pendant that we showed you at the very beginning, uh, goes very nicely with sort of those opaline colors. Uh, goes very nice with the pastel style kind of beads. So for those of you who we've been showing a lot of dark, a lot of bright blues, for those of you who gravitate more towards the pastel colorings, we do have some really nice pieces that fit within those color schemes as well too. That one also sort of fits a smaller style wrist. So for those of you who are looking for a smaller style wrist type piece, this is another great one to be able to take a closer look at. Now, up next, we've got a very rare find. So I do love it with this particular pair of earrings. We have got a fabulous Lucite cha-cha bracelet and an aqua and a blue. Now, what makes this piece really fantastic is we do find pieces like this with the faceted Lucite, but they normally have a lot of hash marks or a lot of wear to the Lucite. This one has none 
I mean, none. And you can see it's fun. It goes with this little rhinestone earring. It also has these little dangling rhinestone headlight charms that are within it. So for those of you who like a little cha-cha or a bracelet with the faceted charm bracelets on it, this one is so pretty and it has all the colors of the ocean. I mean, it has got all these different sort of tranquil Caribbean styles to it, but it just has every gorgeous shade of blue that you could wish for. Again, pulling out that kind of like blue bag that I had from earlier, you can wear this with cobalt, you can wear this with aqua. Like I said, let's pull this up against sort of the tealy tones. You can wear this against the classic, like with, I've got it with the bright colors, with the complementary colors, and it goes so fun even with classic rhinestone pieces. And on top of it is a charm bracelet. It makes all kinds of great sounds and movements, and it just is so Fun. It features a lobster clasp. It has a teeny tiny little bit of length to be able to let out on it. So you can wear it both long and short. Just a super fun, really, really easy piece to go. Oh, so pretty. I just, I love that piece. But you know, those are my colorings. I like all those shades of blue. Okay, we already talked about those jet crystal necklaces that we had at the beginning of the evening. I'm going to talk a little bit about the faux pearl and green and pink and pearl double strand bracelet. We also have got a matching necklace that goes with it. So we've got two pieces that are very mid-century modern. These feature the pastel and then this has got a sweet little pansy design added. This is the double strand with the bracelet. Another great piece to be able to wear for spring. We've been talking a lot about the blues, but you know, we also have this collection be about being able to wear denim and that includes like white and light washes and things like that. So I want to just go ahead and show you. I'll go ahead and bring it out. I have everything all here on the side. For those of you who like being able to wear lighter colored washes, so instead of that darker blue, you can see this is more of a chambray style and these look really, really awesome with those lighter tones. You could also very easily be able to wear this with white denim as well too. So Lighter pieces, just because we've been featuring some of the darker stones and the darker washes, we do have you covered with some really pretty pastel pieces, and they go so nicely with classic pearls, too. So I have all kinds of denim suggestions to be able to wear. So whether you wear jean jackets, jean skirts, you wear denim, you like a thin wash, you like a thicker wash, I got you covered this week. I got something in every to go with every wash and to go with every different kind of styling. Okay, next up, speaking of all of these pieces, Jacqueline Kennedy said pearls are always appropriate. We have got a very cool vintage faux pearl statement ring. Uh, that's what we have up next. We have got this piece, which I've been kind of teasing throughout the evening. So this is the vintage faux pearl statement ring. It is a dome style, and it goes with a lot of the other really nice pieces that we have. So, you know, I showed you it goes really nice with the vintage crown trafari piece. Uh, you can definitely be able to wear this with the faux pearls uh, and pick up the faux pearls that you see in this piece. And then, of course, at the very beginning of the evening, I showed you that we had these very sweet little jade style earrings that feature the blossom style design at the top. And the earrings go perfectly with this ring. So that's another fun one. Very easy to be able to wear and add to your collection this week. It's $45, so it's an absolute steal. Um, and we're going to talk a few about a few more pieces and then we're going to sign off for the evening. Okay, up next is another piece that has got sets to it. So we're kind of talking about two pieces in one. Earlier today, if you caught me in the Style Society, I was talking about different pieces to be able to wear with this orange sweater jacket that I have on. And I was showing you that I wore an incredible black jet brooch. We have an incredible pair of sexy black jet earrings and a brooch set that goes with it. So this is the Vintage Jet Crystal Dangling Statement Earrings, and this is the large Aurora Boreal, or domed style brooch in the black metal Japan finish. Uh, this one features a tiered style. This one does have puddling, so it's either Juliana or Deliza and Elster. It features a gun metal setting, so it's a very deep, dark, 
metal instead of just your classic black japan style to it uh, and this brooch is just absolutely fantastic you can see how great it looks against the solid color but you can do it with everything again let's put it against just the way that it pops even with a lighter color just is a very very pretty classic one and then for those of you who just love being able to rock a statement earring how fantastic are those? So these have got this very pretty tiered, elegant drop style to them. Very easy to be able to wear with your hair up or your hair down. And then of course there's the matching brooch that goes with it, which is so fabulous. And for those of you who maybe aren't looking at the brooch, but you already have got some jet in your collection, obviously this goes really fantastic with the classic jet earrings that we have too. So we have got those lovely, lovely pieces. Uh, up next, we're going to talk a little bit about this amazing vintage Karl Lagerfeld bracelet that we have. So we've got an awesome uh, vintage Karl Lagerfeld bracelet. And boy, I don't even, I haven't put this on the scale, um, but I, this, this bracelet is heavy. It is well made. And just like I got so excited over being able to talk to you about that vintage Chanel piece, this is another one of those vintage couture pieces that are just going to really truly set you apart from the rest. So this bracelet is beyond hot. It is a very sexy piece featuring a very heavy 24 karat gold plating. Uh, it has got a gorgeous casting to it. It is solid. And then these are art glass Grapeau styled stones in a like a it's an opaque finish. They're not see-through. This is a milk glass, and then it's got this very deep lapis blue. This opens. It has the Karl Lagerfeld insignia on the inside. It's a KL, not a KJL. And as you can see, it just looks so awesome with any kind of bright colors. And I showed this earlier off in my group. So this one is another really fun one. It's definitely a rare find. Uh, so for those of you who love those collector style pieces, uh, it has lots of collectability to it. I mean, many of you know that Karl Lagerfeld is famed for his work and his contribution to the House of Chanel. He did have his own line, uh, even up until the end, uh, but he also had his own sort of line that was very popular in the 1980s. So this is a really fantastic piece. Again, it's another one that you'll absolutely love having in your collection, and it's not like anything that you find when you go out shopping now. Okay, I promise we are winding down here. We have just a few pieces to go. Contrasting that, we've got this very lovely made in Austria butterfly. Uh, this is in the black metal Japan finish, and this features both of those lovely blue and green rhinestones again. So again, pulling things up, you can easily be able to bring up the blues that you see in this piece but you can easily be able to pull up the greens that you see in this piece as well. This does feature a black metal Japan to finish. It's a black enamel that has been covered the base metal. Uh, and this piece is also a signed and hallmarked piece from Austria. Uh, it is a 1950s piece, Austrian crystal, obviously very high quality. Another one because of its black metal finish, you can easily be able to put this with other classic jet jewelry. Otherwise, you can put this with other classic blue rhinestone pieces as well. So another really fun one, nice size, nice scale, easy to be able to wear with your favorite jean jacket or just be able to dress up your favorite sweater. Um, next up, I'm going to show you we have got this blue speckled rhinestone brooch. Uh, it's a round pinwheel style that features some very pretty gold flex in it. And this one also has a pair of vintage earrings that matches it too. So this is the vintage blue and gold statement brooch. This one also, as I put earlier, if you like being able to layer pieces up, goes very nicely with quite a few of the other brooches that we have. Um, this one's got a very nice, interesting array of colors that go with it. So again, this is a nice one to be able to put on your favorite jacket or dress. And this one goes very nicely with a variety of different colors. So don't get distracted by the fact that I have the orange on it. If you're not an orange person, very easy to be able to wear with other colors. It also has a matching pair of earrings. Uh, so for those of you who love being able to match up sets, this is really a great and beautiful set that we have. And it really does go with all of the different shades of blue. Okay, I'm going to close out the evening by showing you three pairs of earrings, which are all really fantastic. But I do want you to take a look at the entire collection because we have a lot of pieces this week. 
So we also have an awesome pair of vintage statement earrings from Sarah Coventry. This is a very large floral and it has sort of a more, um, a larger filigree cut to it. Uh, and it's a three dimensional style, as you can see. And for those of you who just love being able to wear statement earrings, these are super fun. They are also not that heavy, especially compared to some of the other pieces that we've had tonight and that we've showed you. We have lots of heavier pieces, uh, but these actually fit pretty well for those of you who like a nice large statement earring. It does feature an Aurora Borealis piece that goes with it. They have a pink and a red undertone to them. Uh, and they also have a really classic um gold and an elegant gold tone setting to it so we've got these next up these are always very very popular at this time of year we have got a very pretty pair of celluloid in a pearled finish with rhinestone center daisies these now are light as air so these you don't even feel like when you're wearing them and they do have a very nice pearl detail to them. So for those of you who like being able to wear classic pearls, you can still be able to bring out that classic pearl starling with these large earrings. These are huge, but they're super lightweight, so they're super easy to wear. Next up, we also have got a pair of Venetian glass earrings that features a floral print that has got a little bit of blue and pink and yellow. This is your traditional Venetian wedding cake style, always very popular around here and always very easy to wear with other classic gold pieces. But we do have these as well, too. And last but not least this evening, we're going to show you we have a pair of peach celluloid um, and these feature a lace underlay with them. And then also we have got a sort of just a nice disc style to them. And these are also really, really super light too. So for those of you who like wearing clip earrings, but you don't want anything that's heavy, these are very lightweight and very well balanced. So whoo, lots of jewelry tonight, lots and lots of tons of fun things. So we've got all kinds of gorgeous things here this evening. I didn't even have a chance to talk about this piece. You'll just, you'll have to go over to the website and you'll have to take a look for yourself. Okay. I hope that you have all truly enjoyed the show tonight. I know that we've got a lot of crazy things going on in this world, but I really wanted to get together and I hope you learned some fun things too, because we have got all of these great pieces going all the way back from like the 1920s and the 1930s uh, to some couture style pieces all the way from the 1980s. There's just really a little bit of everything for everyone. Uh, and that's always, of course, the fun of getting to be able to even just talk to you about all of these things. Remember, Remember, all of these things have got such a great, unique history and just really, really fantastic, fun design. And as you can see, I was able to mix everything with things that I have hanging in my closet. Uh, and I'm still busy trying to teach my children e-learning and run a business um, and doing all the same things that you're doing too. So you can totally still rock your personal style and look and feel your best every day. And that is truly what I want. For all of you. The sparkle is just the icing on the top. Okay, so I do have some good news and I do want to let you know because I was not able to be here last week because I was traveling. Uh, we did have a very interesting so we have got a nice message here from my good friend Caitlin that says Sarah Stoles is our winner of the $25 gift card from two weeks ago when I did Julie Party Wednesday. So Sarah, if you are on here, please email us at help at vintagemeatmodern.com so that we can email you your gift card code. And now, next up, I wanna let you know how easy it is to win a $25 gift card for when we have our next jewelry party Wednesday. It's super easy. All you need to do is go to the link that is up here at the top of the collection. And all you need to do is post what your favorite piece was 
from the jeans and jewelry collection, which we just talked about tonight. So all you need to do is click the link above and then come back here and comment, which is your favorite. And then Caitlin or Leanne and I, and everybody, we will total up all the people who made comments about which their favorite pieces were. And we will announce a winner then the next time that we go live during our show. So I hope you all had an amazing time. It was amazing getting to hang out with all of you. I hope that we were able to set our mind at ease a little bit and celebrate all of the sparkle. So many fun and amazing pieces. And I just want to tell all of you, please take time to celebrate your inner sparkle so you can truly let your personal style shine. You really, truly are so special and incredible and you make the world a more special and more beautiful place because you are in it. So everyone have a fantastic evening. I'm keeping you all in my prayers. Uh, just remember, we do appreciate you supporting small businesses around here. And we want everybody to stay safe and stay healthy. So stay tuned. We got lots of more fun things planned, more Facebook lives. I promise Mr. Michael will make another personal appearance soon. He's certainly around here more often. He must be doing some reading this evening. Otherwise, everybody... Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I hope you had a lot of fun. And again, I'll see you all soon. Bye.